Hi folks, uh, so I want to talk a little bit about keying sets in Blender, a problem in them, a solution that came with Blender that actually doesn't really address the problem properly, and how you can tweak your defaults to work around that and get an acceptable solution. So what keying sets are, if you are, let's see, let's make sure everything's defaulted here. Okay, so let's uh, jump in and have a look. So here's my Blender interface. I'm going to just hide my face so that you can see everything perfectly. Okay, um, sorry for the masks. There's a pandemic on. I don't want to infect anybody. Okay, so here we have our uh, just a file with a rig so that we have something to keyframe. And if you want to insert a keyframe, we hit I and we get this big menu here. Um, and so this is the insert keyframe menu, right? So this lets you choose which channel when you in want to insert keys in. And down here, there is this active keying set element here. So the issue here is like when you're running, when you're working in Blender, um, you want to um, insert keyframes all the time. And let's say I'm always inserting location rotation scale keyframes or something like that, right? Then I don't want to keep on having to select an item in the menu every single time. I would prefer that to be more automatic, right? So I can go here and pick that as my active keying set. And now the menu no longer shows a menu, it just keys what my active keying set was, right? Okay, so you don't get a menu anymore. Right, so that's nice. And um, one of the popular active keying sets is this available keying set. So the idea here is when I go to my first frame and I create my initial pose, I might keyframe the rotation of this thing. So I could do I, there's, okay, available doesn't work because there's no available channels. So I would just use I rotation and click on this and maybe I, maybe I just wanted to keyframe the location of this or maybe the location and the rotation of this. So keyframe that. This guy, I might rotate around so and it can scale it. Okay, so maybe I'll do I lock rot scale. It has this little property here. I might keyframe that, right? So now I have um, a bunch of keyframe things here. Similarly, this one and so on and so forth. And now I can turn on auto keyframing and then can go to available. And the idea is I can go ahead and move these around and it will automatically keyframe. Well, it won't keyframe the property, sadly, but if I change it, it will. Um, it'll keyframe those available channels that already have keyframes in them. Okay, that's kind of cool. So if I go here and rotate this again, it should add just rotation keyframes. Okay, so why doesn't it? Why is it keyframing everything instead of um, adding just rotation keyframes? If I rotate, it should work. Uh, wait, we have that set. Oh, I do have it set, but it's the... Oh, yeah, I have auto key on, sorry. Um, let's undo auto key. Rotate, okay. More okay, so let's take auto key off. So if I rotate it um, and then hit I, it keyframes that channel correctly, but auto key didn't. So why is that? So let's say that I had this this thing here, or maybe this thing here, and I hadn't had set any keyframes in it at all already, right? So if I had auto key on and I had things set to available. When I try to rotate it, I would get this error, no suitable context info for active keying set. So I would have to grumble, take off my active keying set, hit I, and uh, key the keying set, right? So in order to remove this annoyance, a new option was set in auto keyframing, which basically is that by default, auto keyframing ignores whatever keying set you have selected, and we'll just keyframe everything, which is what happened earlier. So I have this thing, which I've carefully only keyframed rotation for, and I rotate it, 
and boom, now I have a mess of keyframes here that I did not want. I didn't want to key the location or the scale. Now I have, alas, that's not great. Um, so I can go back here and check this button here, which uh, allows uh, auto keyframing to obey my keying set. So now, rotate, and it does the right thing. Great. Except now, we have the same old problem. This thing didn't have any keyframes, so I rotate it, and nothing gets set. And if I hit I, uh, I get the error message. So now, I have to go in, do this, insert the rotation keyframe, go back, get it back, and now I'm ready to go again. That is annoying, right? So what I would like, if I was could have my preferred workflow, is I would like to be able to uh, insert keyframes based on the available keying set with the auto key here, but always have the menu pop up even if I had an active keying set. So I actually want the menu to ignore the active keying set and the auto key to respect it. And luckily, we can actually have this exact behavior in Blender right now without any changes to the code. All you have to do is go to your preferences, go to your key map setting, and then search. I'm going to search on the I key, so I'm going to look on that key binding and look for the letter I. And so you have a bunch of uh, different things. I want to ignore most of them, but I do want the pose and object mode insert keyframe to always show me the menu. So all I have to do is expand them here and click on always show menu and it becomes ungrayed out because I've edited it. And again in object mode always show menu and now it's not grayed out. And so now if I close that so I have auto key on I have this key keying set. I have this button which is now useless to me. I just always want it to be on. So I'm only keyframing available with auto keys. But if I select something that I don't have keyframed, like this, I can create its initial keyframe with the eye. And keyframe, let's say, um, in this case, I actually do want to keyframe everything. So lock rot scale. And I've created my initial keyframe. And so I have my um, my thing keyframed. So I have a nice workflow. Um, it would be nice that if auto key gave me a little warning now that it can't keyframe in available, and I've set it to that. If I do this, I could see like a small warning. Well, on something that I haven't keyframed yet. Let's select the camera. So if I move it. Be nice to see a little warning that tells me that I haven't inserted any keys, but that's a, a minor issue. So that's my little quick workaround. This is mainly for Luciano, since um, as far as I know, you're the only person who cares, but um, that's life. So uh, yeah, see you later.